Hi, I'm Evie, and this is my mother, Louisa. And today she's going to show me how to make her famous kugel recipe. Noodle kugel is a very popular dish in a lot of Jewish households. And as my mother points out, is a kind of food that's made in almost every culture, whether it's lasagna in Italy or famous finger foods in um, Thailand made with noodles. The first thing that we did was we boiled our noodles over here on the stove. They are extra wide enriched egg noodles. You do not have to get them just at Whole Foods. The next thing she told me I have to do is to break these four eggs into the bowl. Good breaking, Evie. Good I'm very breaking. good at breaking. I can hold the shells. You can hold the shell. I can hold the shells. The reason that I put the eggs in first before I add anything else to it is that the eggs have to be whipped first, and if you put anything like a warm noodle in it, the eggs will cook, and you'll have sort of scrambled eggs rather than eggs in an emulsion, which would be quite honestly yucky. Because ultimately, Evie, what you're doing is you're making a custard, a kind of custard. Okay, so that looks good to me. And then you start to add all the various dairy products. And I'll take that. And then it, this is a very dairy heavy product. Um, we're going to add in 16 ounces of cottage cheese. This is a low fat one, but it doesn't matter if it's a low fat one. So I'm going to add the whole thing. Yep, I'm going to add the whole thing. This is my favorite kind of dish because it's a kind of add it, mix it, put it in the oven kind of dish. And it doesn't matter if you use 2% or 1%. No, not really. Got this. Got this. Okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And done perfectly. And then the next thing is sour cream. Another 16 ounces of sour cream. And again, it doesn't really matter whether it's... I've made a perfectly wonderful noodle pudding using um, non-fat products when I've had to. It tastes better slightly with all the full fat because everything does. But... You can, you can make the substitutions. It's a forgiving dish. Okay, it's pretty good. And the next dairy product is the cream cheese. And again, um, this actually happens to be a low-fat cream cheese. That's, that's going to turn out to have a fine result. And it's a good idea if you can have it a little soft. So we kept it out of the refrigerator for the last 20 minutes to make sure it was the right consistency to put into this so we can mix it easier. So mix those up and then we're going to put the noodles in. Just sort of um, combine them. They don't have to be, the heat from the noodles will help everything sort of become liquefied. Okay, beautifully done. Let's add the noodles. You, you, and so the, the task here is to make sure that everything gets pretty well combined, and then I'm going to get ready for the next part of it while you're doing that. Okay. You, you keep mixing, and I am going to put in, I'll get this noodle off my finger, um, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla, and that's all going to get mixed in. Then the next thing that we're going to do is put in sugar. And the recipe calls for a half a cup of sugar. It has not, it will not be ruined by putting in a whole cup, so I always put in a little sprig more because I'm like that. And you're keeping mixing. Okay. Okay. So the next thing it needs is a little bit of cinnamon. Um, this has a shaker, and so just shake it, you know, shake enough in so that it's one little thin layer coating it. That seems to me to be enough. And mix that in. And you put cinnamon later on top. Yeah, right? and then I'm going to dust the top with cinnamon too. Um, our recipe calls for adding raisins. I usually use blonde raisins because it's sort of a, it's not so much a, a taste issue as it is a, um, an appearance issue. Since we ultimately are going to use an apricot glaze, a few days ago when we made this, we used chopped fresh apricots, and that was wonderful. That was the first time I'd done that, and I actually thought that in the future, 
I would do that. I would use fresh apple you know, fresh dried apricots because it's a more interesting color and it's, it's a great taste, especially with the braised. So I really like raisins, so I'm going to put in effectively two cups of raisins in here and mix those in. And two cups is the whole bag. Is the whole bag. Okay, I'm just going to mix it. Mixing intensive project, this one is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you need to butter this pan. It's just a little bit of butter. And this over here. Yep. I'm moving your butter. In. And while she's doing that, I am going to talk a little bit about the glaze because the glaze is also very easy. So to make a glaze that's spreadable, what I do is, and I, I again think it's important to use a nice quality jam, but it really again isn't a crucial difference. It's the kind of thing that appeals to me. So I'm gonna have Evie now heat this up a little bit on the stove just so that it melts. And while she's doing that, I'm gonna just put this in this pan, just put butter. And let's see how easy this is to do. And while you were over there making the glaze, which is now done, which is now done, I put all the noodles with the raisins and everything else into the buttered pan, and then I smoothed it a little bit. And now what I'm going to do is have you using sort of a pour it kind of so that it covers the surface. It's just a little thinned out, but you want to get it as, you, you want to use it, use liquid so that it covers as much of the surface as possible. Okay, perfect. And then you're going to help spread it a little bit more with this handy dandy pastry brush. Um, okay, so then you're going to do that. That's good. And I could have made more glaze. It's never hurt by more glaze. Um, and now what I want you to do is take the almonds. And I tend to use this kind of almonds. These are sliced almonds. And I'm just going to sprinkle, sprinkle them over the top, you know. And again, you want to be fair enough so everybody who gets a, it's becoming sort of like a crust. It doesn't have to be a, t a very dense crust, but it should be about like that. And then I want you to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon over it. Okay, we're almost done. So use the cinnamon sprinkler and sprinkle away. And really, that, that's really more for appearance than it is for flavor because we already put cinnamon in the, in the whole mixture. And then the last thing that I would do is I would have you dot the top with butter, cut it into like little tiny squares. And then you just have it in about the right size to make sure you get good coverage. Truthfully, this is ready to rock. And it goes in the oven. What do we preset um, it at? It goes in the oven at 350 for okay. an hour. This is this is looks done to me, but I want to test to make sure it's done, which I would normally do in the oven. And obviously I did that before. So you stick the knife in and just like any custard to make sure that it's set a little bit. It should be a little loose. It doesn't have to be super dense. But you don't want it so that it so that the um, the noodles are still moving. And are you looking at the knife to see if it's clean, like I when am. you stick I'm it in a cake? Yeah, okay. it's it's sort of exactly like a cake. And what you'll see is that in different places you get different results. But it feels done to me. Um, and now let's see how we did. And I want to, everyone to note that I'm using a fancy server oh, because nice. to me this can be a very fancy dish. And let's take out a piece. Mm -hmm. And this looks really quite perfect. Um, as you can see, if you look at that, cutting horizontally, you can size. see that it's all a piece. Let me get that little piece out. So it's clean. It's clean. Like a pie, yeah. which is an abnormality. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's pretty much it. And it will, you can serve it at room temperature, you can serve it warm. It freezes extremely well. I have to say that the advantage of doing it in a square dish is that you put it in those squares, put each square in the freezer, and it's there for years, um, good and bad. But I think we did pretty well. I what think, do you think so. Do you too. like it? Well, I have to find out. You want eating was not part of this. It's gonna be fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it up there in my top ten? What do you think? It could be in the top five. Mm.